question for a moment, though, back to this Trump transition, which even on the eve of the eve of of New Year's Eve, uh, we are um, still we still don't have a full slate of people yet. Some changes are being made. They're running out the economic policy for us. Uh, Rachel Sutherland from Fox News Radio is joining us right now with more on that story today. Rachel, happy New Year to you. Thanks, and you as well. Well, thank you very much. So are are we getting new details on uh, what Trump's economic plans are for the after uh, January 1st? Well, not great detail at this moment. Right now he is uh, at Mar-a-Lago Club, and we understand from the uh, transition team that he's actually working on his own inaugural address. A lot of times, you know, President-elect will hire speechwriters in this case, He's busy there writing, and he's getting some help from advisors. He's also been holding lots of meetings. As you'll notice, yesterday he came out and talked about these new jobs being created, so going back to the economy. Uh, he was uh, praising Sprint for bringing 5,000 jobs back to the United States and another uh, kind of an upstart company uh, creating 3,000 jobs. So there is discussion about jobs. There's discussion about making the tax code a little bit more, uh, I don't know, business-friendly. But uh, this transition team has just been going uh, morning, uh, noon, night, uh, and I, I expect it will continue. Uh, Mr. Trump will be in Florida through New Year's, and then he'll go back to New York. Well, I know the person that I want to hang out with on New Year's Eve is Don King. <laughs> I, I could have knocked me over when he walked out the door with boxing promoter Don King yesterday. Yeah, that was one of those <laughs> odd moments that we've almost gotten used to seeing, like when he came out with... Uh, Beyond, no, not Beyonce, Kanye. <laughs> Kanye, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I those, I, why would I get those two confused? I don't know. <laughs> That's, yeah, he, he's certainly, um, he, he's got such a, a wide variety of people who, who support him and who show up at meetings with him. And I'm just always shaking my head because I know a lot of these folks were completely opposed to him getting elected president. Now they're all showing up at Trump Tower to talk to him. Yeah, um, some are. Like, for example, Al Gore about a month ago. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true. I thought I thought something would freeze over before Al Gore showed up to talk to Donald Trump. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's talk about the the Trump transition team. I I didn't realize because I saw the initial announcement on the communications team um, that that Sean Spicer was going to be the White House press secretary, but he's also going to take over the role of what White House communications director as well. Yes, and that was because uh, another. A uh, member of the team just suddenly uh, resigned on, on New Year's Eve, um, who, who had agreed to take that job. Um, and so that was a little bit of a surprise. And there's been a bit of discussion that possibly there was some kind of personal <laughs> uh, scandal involved. But, uh, oh, really? But yeah, Tom Spicer will take over not only the job of a press secretary, but also this director of communications, at least until they can, I guess, uh, find somebody else. You know, I, Jason Miller, by the way. J- Jason Miller. I, I heard a few names thrown around as the search was going on. Some of the Fox News TV personalities were were discussed for that position, possibly as well. Right. Um, I, I've joked here on the radio that you couldn't give me that job. I mean, oh. I, I wouldn't mind serving a president of the United States, but. I don't want to be the one unless somebody can 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 wrench control of his Twitter account away from him. I don't want to be the one that has to go into a White House press briefing the next morning and try to explain why he tweeted that Angela Merkel's hair was orange or something because you know that's going to happen. Yeah, it is. Right, exactly. I think this created some kind of director of social media. I'm not sure how much power that person will have, but this is just a whole different world with Twitter. For example, when the president-elect was uh, tweeting about Israel, you, you get a tweet. He got a, a response on Twitter from, from the prime minister thanking him. So as reporters now, we've got to watch the Twitter feeds in a way where it's like, okay, we've got to keep an eye on it. It's just another way that uh, the communication is changing. Yeah, very much so. Rachel Sutherland, thank you for your time. A happy New Year to you. You as well. All right. Take care of yourself. Uh, Rachel Sutherland from Fox News Radio there uh, reporting for us.